Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder EX here back with more Let's Play Alundra. Oh yes, this game. This game might actually be the first game I record as a project that breaks me. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we're still here in the coastal cave. We've got a lot of stuff that, you know, we can break. Had that switch, it opens that door. Uh, we need to get across there, but in order to do that, we have to go this way, and we have to use the the terrible depth perception to our advantage. And I can't throw things up there, and that as long as that orc is up there, it makes it rather difficult to get up onto the second ledge, where I'm supposed to go. And then, of course, you can dodge, and or block, rather. Yeah, that's the thing. I really, I really, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little, a little burned out on the, the things that just don't mesh well with good game design. So, like, if you're gonna have enemies be damage sponges, don't let them be able to block. Like, if it's going to take this many hits to kill something, don't let them block. Just just don't. Alright, um... We've got something here, but I really don't think there's a way to... to do this without taking damage. So, we're just going to take damage, and we're going to get this key. Yeah, just going to take damage. There is a, uh... A medical herb over here that we could go back and get. I'll get that in time. Uh, for now, we just need to fall down. But again, enemy placement makes that rather difficult. So, gotta wait for him to walk away and then kill him. And then we just kind of drop down here because this is where we need to go. We need to go down here, because this is where the key needs to be used. And then... I'm going to start looking around here, and there's a treasure chest there, which we can't get at the moment, because we can't really do much anything. And then we've got... Uh, spiked balls. Spiked balls of death. And then we've got... That. So what we need to do is jump and hit it. And then we can, you know, destroy it, knock it, another thing. If you don't activate it beforehand, you can't. Like, you can't toss a bomb on it and have it turn on that way. You just gotta... Ah, uh, of course. Uh, you have to hit it before it falls. So, that's something that will come into play shortly. But as you can see, there are these little docks, and then the water that we can't get into. What do you think the power-up we're going to get here is going to be? Alright, so, we come over here, oh, it's this one, okay, and I don't like the turtles because they, at least this number of turtles, uh, make it rather difficult to, uh, to survive against when they're all on you know, various sides of you like this. And then their attack range is just so ridiculous. Alright, so we we need to use... We need to use that. Just die, come on, guys, really? There's two down. Alright. Of course, while I'm fighting one... Another one gets me. Alright, so what we need to do is jump up here and then do that. But we can't get the little gemstone until all the enemies in the room are dead. And then we gotta break our way back out. And then there's more of these. I don't think this is the right way. No, this is the right way. Alright. So... Uh, let's see. No, it's not the right way. This is the way out. So, 
So we need to go into the other door, which is behind this one. Um, in which we have to do that, and we took a hit because that's just how things work. And we've got the last one. So, yay, some life. Thank you, life. Just like a Zelda game, when you need it, it doesn't spawn. Alright, so there's really nothing there that we need, but we can come down here. And break all these blocks. And hey, another piece of life. How wonderful. And there is a treasure chest there with a medical herb. So that made up for the one that I just had to use. And then there's this part. Alright, so this part sucks. So, once you're here, you can't... F you can't fall off. Uh, otherwise, you have to leave the room and come back and do the whole thing over again. So, let's not... Dude, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use a bomb. Blop, blop, blop! Damn it. Alright, well, fine. We'll just do this. So, there are four little switches we have to hit in this section. And each one of them are going to be on the outskirts there, which we have to jump over to get to, which means we have to jump very precisely and very cautiously and then we have those guys that come back we saw them down in the bottom section which I gotta wait for them to walk away from me so that I can make my way over here without getting hit because if they hit you while you're jumping you can fall son of a bitch really however they don't take too many hits so that's you know actually not terrible. And then there's this one, which we need to get very, very cautiously. And then there's ogres, which I'm actually just going to deal with on this side. Because my my range is greater than theirs. Come on, come on down here, Billy. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Come over here. Oh, I almost screwed that up. Alright, and now the last one is they show up on the outside here. Which will actually take the opposite approach and fight them here. So... Come, come on, come up here. Come up here. You can come up here. You can walk. There you go. And done. And when they die, a treasure chest falls from the sky, which lets us get a new shoe upgrade. Merman Boots Obtained. Which this lets us swim. Which is really ridiculous. Alright, so I know it's because of how they, they did the upgrades. So, um, so our, our other boots just got replaced with merman boots. We still have the same power-up from the previous boot, so we can still move on sand without any problem. But now we can also swim, which seems ridiculous to me, because it seems like a waste of a power-up, because we just got the other shoes. But, I mean, I can understand that they didn't really code too many things in for this, so it's just a, eh. Alright, so we come over here, and... Herbs obtained, and since I used one accidentally, actually I used more than one accidentally, so we're not quite back up to full. But we can, I think we can go up this way, is this, there are... No, it's not this way. So now we have the ability to swim, which you'd think would be a major part 
of this dungeon. But really... Really isn't. Alright, so... I think now we can just leave here. And now we can go back up this way, because ridiculous backtracking. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I just I love the enemy placement of this game. Like that. Like, I tried to jump but missed because I was worried that I was going to hit Billy. Alright. As I said, this, this might be a game that I just don't finish. Like, I'm, I'm getting to a point in this game where it's like... The... The... the features, and I say that with, like, air quotation marks, are just not... <laughs> and things like that, where... The, the... The... Movement mechanics are... They have no margin for error in a game that needs a margin of error. Uh, like, th th this is just a little much on... Uh, and... Perfect. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna have to stop this. Alright, so I finally made it over there after about a half a dozen attempts. Because... I, I, like I said, I really think this is a game I'm, I'm probably not going to finish. The, the more I get into this game, the more I'm like, I'm really not having fun anymore. Because, like, things like this, where you have an expectation of where the jump, where you, where you're supposed to jump, and then you, you, you don't. So, and then I know there's something coming up. Uh, relatively quickly in this dungeon that is going to probably be the final test of my patience on whether or not I will actually continue this game. Because, yeah, this is, this is a little, a little ridiculous. Alright, so, come over here and... Get another herb, which is good, because as you can see, I took damage because random enemy placement made it impossible to actually get past a certain section of the game. So, without taking damage, at least. Alright, deal with the vomiting guys. And then come up here and pick this up. And, yeah. I thought, sometimes that turns into, uh, herbs. So, apparently not that time, though. Alright, so we can go up this way. And we have a little pool with a little spinny thing. Uh, come, Alundra. There you go. Like, I know you have the power to get up on the, the, the dock thing. And, of course, more damage. There we go. Just to keep the obnoxious noise at bay. And a little bit of health. And a little bit more health. Alright. Doing better. Now, there's a barrel, which means we need to use the barrel to traverse farther, and then we've got more of those vomity guys down there, but we can just bypass them, because we don't really need them at the moment. We've got a turtle, inconveniently placed. So, we've got to deal with him before anything else, and then his friend's going to come over and deal with us. Because, again, the enemy placement for this game kinda sucks. Especially for the number of hits these enemies take. And it's it's getting to be the... The same gripes are what's causing me to not enjoy this. 
Alright, we're just gonna move you out of the way, stupid turtle. So I can jump down here, because we need this, and then we need to get this key. And then we fall here, and get 30 Gilder. And now we can leave, because all we needed was the key. However, the turtles, again, make things difficult. And you, like, really waiting outside the door. <sighs> and I take a hit, but I can get out of there relatively quickly. And just end that fight before it begins. Any more health? Oh, thank you. A little more health would, would be nice, but that's fine. We use this key. Oh, hey, look. A little more health. Too bad it didn't help, because I took a hit. And just hit both of you at once, because screw both of... Oh. Not this. Not this. Oh, God. Not this. Okay, so we have a switch here, and then we have a pathway that we have to traverse. And we have to do it within a set amount of time, otherwise the switch turns off and that gate closes. Which, I can already tell you, I'm probably not going to make it because my controller sucks balls. Oh my god, I made it the first time! It took me 20 tries when I, I... I've gone through the section off screen so that I have an idea of where I'm going. And that's how I know that there's stuff that I'm, I'm going to want to uh, not be a part of anymore after this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <sighs> Alright, let's get around him really quickly. Alright, so, yeah. We've got... a bunch of enemies. We've got a barrel there, which means it's gonna come into play. Let me make sure I've killed everyone. Alright, so what we have to do with these... So we can stand on those iron orbs. But we have to... Uh, that actually might work. Uh, we have to hit them in a position where we can use them to get on top of them. Oh, son of a bitch, really? Oh, that's just... that was perfect. So, as you can see, it... it... It flies off when we destroy... It's like the Chain Chomp from Mario 64. From that first level, you have to... you have to break it free and then you can use it. However, you have to time its its departure almost perfectly in order to uh, put it where you need it to. Because there are... Uh, oh, there's some health. Thank you for that. Thanks for small miracles. Alright. And we'll just get rid of that one right off the bat, so that we don't have to worry about dodging him. We can bring this one down here. And we have to get it somewhere along that section so we can use it. And I don't think that's going to be good enough. Oh, no, it is, thankfully. However, what I was talking about earlier that is going to be the death of me comes up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and show this off. Because down here is a save point, which I will save it. And I'll see if I can do this off screen. But what we have to do is we have two. We have to use them to traverse to this doorway. Meaning we have to have one somewhere in this section so that we can jump across to there. And then we have to have one methodically placed right here. It has to be right here. If it's too far up, you can't jump there. If it's too far down, you can't jump to it from there. So it has to be 
very specifically placed. And I can take a hit. I don't know why I'm trying to dodge it so bad. We've got a... Like I said, we've got a save point down here that has a... Uh, a... Uh, a health mo a health meter there. Health replenish. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm going to end this episode, because I'm about done with it. So there's some more stuff here. There's a switch that we saw here in the middle, and then there's a hidden switch here. I'll deal with that later. Uh, for now, like I said, I will just make it to the save point, replenish my HP, replenish my MP, save it, and see if I can do some of this off-screen. Because, like I said, there's a good chance this might be the last episode. Because it took me... I, 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 I sat there for about an hour yesterday trying to deal with this one section to get the, uh, the parts specifically placed. So, um, depending on how long it takes me, I may just give up. So, um, I might see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone. <laughs>